John Brisker as a player was compared to LeBron James. In his first three and only years in the ABA, he played on the Pittsburgh Pipers, later Condors, and he averaged 26 points, 8 rebounds and 3 assists, was a two-time All-Star in the ABA. After that, he signed a six-year, $1 million contract with the Seattle Supersonics, which would be $6 million today. But when he got there, he was butting heads with the coach of the Supersonics at that time, Bill Russell. Because of that, he was benched often and even sent to the Eastern League, which was a public demotion. But after the demotion, he scored 51 points in his first game and he scored 58 points the game after that. His Eastern League coach said he played like it was the last game of his life. But Russell wasn't impressed. Brisker played only 21 minutes per game for the Sonics and he was still pretty effective. He averaged 12 points, 4 rebounds and 2 assists. He was fighting so much and getting ejected so much, he got the nickname the heavyweight champion of the ABA. His former Condors teammate Charlie Williams said, quote, he was an excellent player, but say something wrong to the guy and you had this feeling that he would reach into his bag, take out a gun and shoot you. Once he elbowed a player named Art Becker who was a forward for the Denver Rockets. Only a few minutes into the game, Brisker elbowed him so hard he got ejected immediately, but he wasn't dumb. He kept coming at him and coming at him until the police managed to retrain him. He fought referees once he, when he was on the Seattle Supersonics, he got into a fight with a 6'8 forward, Joby Wright, broke his jaw and knocked out 4 teeth. His teammates and even his friends feared him, everyone except Bill Russell, who believed in hard discipline, and Brisker had no intention of being disciplined. Because of that, Russell, who was a head coach and GM, at the time, bought out his contract and Brisker never played another game for the Seattle Supersonics or any team for that matter because he was blackballed by every team because of his reputation. Brisker then went to Africa for business opportunities and in 1978 he went missing when he visited Uganda. His teammate Haywood said he thinks that Brisker showed him a photo of him with Ugandan dictator Idi Amin. What happened to him after he went to Uganda or did he even go to Uganda? Nobody knows. There are a few theories like he was a mercenary for Idi Amin and that he got executed by a firing squad after he lost his power, that he went there to escape the IRS. The truth is, nobody knows and nobody will know. He was de officially declared dead in May of 1985 for the purpose of settling his estate. If he is alive right now, he will be 71 years old.